Hey, what's going on? This is Ajax with Black Ops Elite and Ajax Customs. I'm here just uh, testing our uh, main gun for the war machine and just checking the camera. I'm going to do two different rounds and we're going to just kind of check the ballistics. We're going to do the uh, tennis ball round first, which is 40 millimeter tennis ball that, that I... Uh, Kind of came up with. Oh, I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. So this is a 40 millimeter tennis ball. It is fits right into any 203, and it's cool because it's cheap, much cheaper than a tag round. Here's a tag round here. Tag rounds are generally about nine dollars a piece. This tennis ball we have them for a dollar, dollar fifty a piece. You can also saturate these with baby powder, and that will uh, leave a good mark on uh, most surfaces for uh, anti-vehicle purposes. So, so there's that. We're going to shoot this one first. It'll basically sit right behind here in the breech of the cannon. It'll just kind of sit like that. Hopefully, you can see it on the camera there. So we'll try that now. Shake over there. He's going to just kind of be a guide, so you can see the flight path and, and range, so. All right, here goes the first one. He caught that, and he was roughly about 130 feet away. But I could have uh, aimed it a little bit better. So here's the tag dummy round. Okay. That one has a little bit better range. The biggest drawback of the tag round is with the rifling, it tends to be super unpredictable. Um, you know, if there's a little bit of wind or any type of issue, the tag round will just kind of go flying. But other than that, you know, they're pretty cool. The purple or the blue marking rounds are cool if you can spend that much money on, a, you know, $9 a round. I would uh, just really, you know, try to get these little tennis balls approved at, at events. I think that'd be pretty cool if, if they could be used, but yeah, there's that, uh, and I'm going to check the camera now, so you guys have a nice day.